Maurice Glodowska Curie was a renowned physicist and chemist who made groundbreaking discoveries in the field of radioactivity. Born in Warsaw, Poland, on November 7, 1867, Marie was the youngest of five children in her family. Her parents were both teachers, and they encouraged their children to pursue education and intellectual pursuits. Marie showed a natural aptitude for mathematics and physics, but her studies were interrupted by political turmoil in Poland. In 1891, she moved to Paris to study physics, chemistry, and mathematics at the Sorbonne University. She was one of the few women admitted to the university at the time. In Paris, Marie met Pierre Curie, a physicist, and they soon fell in love. They were married in 1895 and began working together in Pierre's laboratory. They focused their research on the recently discovered phenomenon of radioactivity. In 1898, Marie and Pierre discovered two new elements, polonium and radium, which were highly radioactive. They coined the term radioactivity to describe the property of elements that emit energy and particles. Their discovery earned them worldwide recognition, and they were awarded the Nobel Prize in Physics in 1903, becoming the first couple to receive the prestigious award. Marie continued her research after Pierre's death in 1906. She became the first woman to receive a doctorate from the Sorbonne University and the first female professor at the University of Paris. In 1911, she was awarded the Nobel Prize in Chemistry for her discovery of radium and polonium, making her the first person to win two Nobel Prizes in different fields. During World War I, Marie developed mobile X-ray units to assist battlefield surgeons. She trained and led a group of nurses to operate the units which saved countless lives. Her work earned her the French Legion of Honor and the British Order of Merit. Marie's research took a toll on her health, and she suffered from chronic exposure to radiation. She died on July 4, 1934, at the age of 66 from a plastic anemia, a rare blood disorder caused by exposure to radiation. Her papers and research materials are still highly radioactive and must be kept in lead-lined containers. Marie Curie's legacy lives on in her scientific contributions, her pioneering work for women's rights, and her advocacy for the use of science for humanitarian purposes. Her discoveries paved the way for modern physics and chemistry, and her life serves as an inspiration for women in science around the world. Marie Curie's impact on the world of science cannot be overstated. Her work in the field of radioactivity opened up entirely new avenues for scientific inquiry, and revolutionized our understanding of the atom. Her discovery of radium and polonium led to the development of new medical treatments and diagnostic techniques, including the use of radiation therapy to treat cancer. In addition to her scientific achievements, Marie Curie was also a pioneering advocate for women's rights. She recognized the barriers that women faced in the scientific community and worked to break them down, paving the way for future generations of female scientists. She was a champion for education and believed that everyone, regardless of their gender or background, should have access to quality education. Marie Curie's dedication to humanitarian causes is also noteworthy. During World War I, she used her scientific expertise to help save lives on the battlefield. She developed mobile X-ray units that could be used in the field, allowing for faster diagnosis and treatment of injuries. She trained a team of nurses to operate the units and personally drove them to the front lines, risking her own safety to help others. Despite the challenges she faced as a woman in a male-dominated field, Marie Curie never lost her passion for science and her desire to make a difference in the world. She was a brilliant scientist, a tireless advocate for women's rights, and a humanitarian who used her talents for the greater good. Her life and legacy continue to inspire and motivate people around the world, and she remains one of the most iconic and influential figures in the history of science.